Some days it feels like I'm drowning, drowning in a list of to-dos, responsibilities. And I had this dream. I was in water and I was swimming around, but then I started sinking. And something, something came over me that said, breathe, you can breathe underwater. And I remember in the dream taking a big inhale and I was like, oh my God, I'm a mermaid. (laughs) I can breathe, I can breathe. (laughs) I can breathe underwater. That was crazy. When I think about water, I think about, the first word that came to me was life. When I think of water, I think of life. Like over 70%, what is, what is it, 70%, 80%, whatever the percentage is, a lot of, of percentage of our body is water, and so water is life. When I think about, you know, pregnant women bringing forth life into this world, the first thing that happens, not the first, one of the things that happens before the baby comes into this planet is that their water breaks, you know, and like even even the word water breaking, you know, I think about waves hitting the shore and like when a wave breaks and before that peak moment, you know, it's, it's loud, it's intense, it's this frothy, foamy water and then it's like, this calm, peaceful moment where the water just brushes up on the shore of the sand and the rocks. And then it's like this peaceful moment. You know, it just makes me think about life was just truly the waves of life, the roller coaster, the ups and the downs. There's so many, there's so much symbolism with water. There's so much, uh, I feel like I could just like go on and on with the depths of water, you know. You feel that you're really connected with the universe and you really trust that part of you that's inside, then you can be absolutely prosperous in the abundance of wisdom. And what about love? You feel that you have an abundance of love? Or are you very poor in love? Is there very just a little bit of it in your life? How about joy? You feel you're really prosperous and have an abundance of joy? Oop, my foot. Because we right on the edge. <laughs> right on the edge, babe. Right? It's giving sweat. How you holding up? <laughs> All right. We made it. And then what about beauty? Do you see beauty everywhere? Do you allow yourself to experience an abundance of beauty? You coming? Mm Mm-hmm. What about good health? Do you have no health? Is there very little? Are you poor in good health? Deeper than I thought. (laughs) Me getting in. The hair is in. <laughs> Go ahead, get it. Thank See that cold punch. You gonna put it on there? All right, count down. <laughs> That's cold. All right, so let's back it in. Down <laughs> Ooh, it feels good though. It feels really good. Not me dirty enough. My little... I don't come out.
or are you prosperous and do you have an abundance of good health and of course there's money then there's money too you know what do you let yourself have are you poor in money or do you have an abundance of it i like to use that uh, image a lot the ocean standing in front of the ocean with a container in your hand it's absolutely impossible and if you can th see yourself standing at the ocean of life in the same way and remember the container that you have is your consciousness and you can always change your consciousness Another thing as I've been exploring this painting is I've been thinking about treasure, treasure that can be at, at the bottom of the sea, you know? So it's like in these primordial waters that can be dark and scary, there can be, you know, monsters in the water. Like we have so much like mythology around monsters in the water, you know? But we also have so many stories about treasure in the water. And so it's like, if you are brave enough, if you are courageous enough to face those fears of the water, you can actually like go deep down into it and like find the treasure. Like I just, I just love that. I just, I just love stories, okay? I just, I just love it all. Part of me was thinking like, what is life if not to be afraid? You know, like, what is life if not to try something different or to challenge yourself, be like brave, courageous, you know? Okay, let me, let me give y'all context for all of this. I feel like I'm just, this is just, it'd be random over here, okay? But if you didn't know, if you are new here, welcome, boo, okay? I'm Aramis Hamer. I'm an artist out here in Seattle and... <sighs> We over here drowning out our fears, okay? We drowning out our fears. And I'm also realizing like, if I'm afraid, that's a good thing. You know, if, if I'm challenging myself, that's a good thing. If I'm stepping outside the box or, um, you know, exploring different concepts, that's actually a good thing. I just think about Picasso and how he has so many different styles in his creative process and how brave that must have been for him to like completely switch it up especially as he started to expand his audience and you know build a name for himself as an artist it's just like that's a really that's a really brave thing to do and when I think about showing up courageously and drowning out my fears part of the fear Part of it is just even like identifying what your fears are. Y'all know I love to share a good dream around here, okay? The kicker is, I had a nightmare last night. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch had a motherfucking nightmare. It said, yeah, this ain't this ain't a pleasant one to share with the people. Yeah, no, and we not we not even about to go there. But what it revealed to me was, okay, slow down. You know, like everything doesn't have to be a deep, profound message in a dream that alters your actions. Because part of me had woke up from, from the dream like, oh hell no, <laughs> uh-uh, like, we not about to let that happen. So we need to do da -da 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 in order to prevent that. Like, and so I was like, hold on, like, are you operating from a, from a place of fear? You know, it's like, first of all, girl, it was a dream, okay? <laughs> like, we all have, we all have bad dreams every now and again. You know, that don't mean that you need to go rewrite the whole plan for your life. <laughs> Stay grounded, okay? This is why. Being grounded is so important because your girl will flow through life at like a feather, just going from side to side. <laughs> She'll watch a movie and be like, you know what? I need to be an actress. <laughs> like, girl, ground yourself. Know who you are. And I'm very clear on the fact that I'm an artist. And I'm so honored to have that level of clarity about what I want to do. But I'm even trying not to limit myself from, from this perspective. Like I have to be a visual artist or like a painter or you know like whatever I would just I just want to be able to expand in whatever aspect that calls me at the moment and it's been so beautiful sharing here on YouTube like y'all know how I feel about editing I love editing I truly feel like it's another art form and I've been able to expand my creativity through editing and so I just I just love the platform of YouTube and love storytelling through video and so I'm on the journey of even trying to bridge all these things together I'm like okay cool I love video I love painting I love music I love I, I love everything <laughs> I love everything but I'm realizing that 
you can love everything, but you don't have to do everything. But the things that you do want to do, how can you incorporate those things together to be able to share in a way that feels in alignment for you? And so the part where the fear was coming up was like, oh, well, wait, if I try to do that, will that look like this or will people think this you know and y'all already know your girl been on a journey okay <laughs> she's been she's been letting go of a lot of the negative self-talk of a lot of the judgment of a lot of the fears you know but in the process of it it's like okay cool when you do drown out those fears when you do let go of that negative self-talk how does that manifest in your actions you know how do you show up bravely how do you experiment and challenge yourself you know about how that's showing up for me and I'm like do I want to share this <laughs> okay. no I do I do because I feel like once I say it it's like once I once I speak it out it makes it more real you know there's that there's that level of accountability it's like oh I shared it I said it <laughs> she said it does she mean it how that's showing up for me y'all is writing a book Okay, let me let me get real context on it because it's, it's not like I'm out here writing a book. Your girl isn't isn't a writer. Okay, I love writing. Y'all know I love journaling. I love poetry. I love music, which I feel like is musical poetry. You know, but I don't really identify as a poet per se, which is so funny because like my past self probably identified more as a poet than a painter back then. I wrote a lot. I, I did poetry competitions. That feels like such a lifetime ago. Wow, that even reminds me like how much we can evolve as people, you know? But I'm reminding myself like, okay, you don't have to compartmentalize different creative versions of yourself if you don't want to. Like if you want to, then great. Like that can be that past college, you know, college self. If that's what you wanna do, call it your past self, you know? But if that's something that you wanna bring into your present, what does that look like, you know? But anywho, yeah, that feels like a past version of myself, which is also welcome in the present too, you know? But to be clear, okay, like let's be clear about what I'm thinking. So maybe even like writing a book isn't really what I'm thinking, more like publishing a book. And I actually told the patrons about this like a while ago. And so I feel like my patrons, first of all, I'm just so grateful for y'all, you know? But they also feel like a safe space where it's like, if I say something, it's okay if I change my mind, you know? But once I say it here, like, publicly then it's like okay girl okay it's just a whole lot more y'all over here you know so it feels like eh. but yes yeah, so more like publishing a book it feels intimidating but it also feels very exciting you know and so part of me that's why I'm just trying to like drown out the fears about it like yeah that feels exciting but it also feels kind of nerve-wracking like whenever I think of a new something that I want to bring out to the world it's it's definitely like a vulnerable thing you know you like oh even when you, y'all been around for a while you might remember with the candles that was a wild up and down roller coaster ride even with the journals with the zodiac gift boxes bringing the whole zodiac show to the world was a roller coaster ride so part of me is like ugh, just like even thinking about what it takes to prepare and package your creativity to the world like that's another art form in itself that's another process in itself you know but the book also feels like a bridge to the next chapter and the next body of work that i want to create in the next series and the zodiac series took so long and so many years and so i'm working on this new series and this uh, diptych painting that i was telling y'all about with the like the the two sides right it's like the the conscious and the subconscious mind these two different polarities when i first started this painting i I was, I thought I knew where it was going, but I feel like it's completely shifting now per usual. I feel like I'll have a concept in my head about how I want a painting to look or how I think it's gonna look and it goes on a completely different trajectory, okay? So it's coming together, it's sort of coming, evolving how I want it to be and now I'm I feel really good about the conscious mind side like the light side it definitely feels like an area that I'm dominant in um, but recently I have been exploring more of my own personal shadow self which I feel you know, the first word that came to mind is that I feel powerful in it I feel powerful <sighs> y'all your girl been through some shit okay like she has been through some things and it has made me so much 
stronger and so much more resilient. Even as I've been thinking about this piece and thinking about water and thinking about you know, swimming and mermaids. You know, I saw the little mermaid, like, oh, uh, love the little mermaid, loved everything about it. Love it, also love swimming, I love the water. I let go of all fear and doubt, and life becomes simple and easy for me. I create a stress-free world for myself. You got it, next? Nope. <laughs> I'm a little taste. Now we gotta walk back three and a half miles with wet, heavy hair. <laughs> 